so that's the formula. Mom, come on, come on. Let me show you something. Let me show you. Come on, sweetie, let's go. Come on, come on, baby. Hello, guys. I'm gonna be letting my mommy to talk about quads with you. Okay? Say bye bye. Hello, guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be talking about quads. Why quads? Because we love to train quads, isn't it? Yes. And I think, and you think also, I know, that a beautiful leg has strong and developed quads. No matter what, you're a woman, you're a man, we need to have beautiful quads, okay? It's a long-term process, okay? So, take it easy, okay? Uh, it requires a lot of mind-muscle connection and it requires a lot of your presence during the workout. As you train any other part of your body, okay? Uh, I'm going to the gym and I'm gonna show you how I train my quads and I have uh, small tips a few tips and tricks about how I make this process more, more easier and more, more enjoyable why not okay and um, I'm gonna show you how me personally I am hitting this specific area because oh my god it requires a lot of focusing and you have to to get the contact and you keep the contact there in your muscles during the eccentric movement if you feel some pain in your knees while you train quads on a specific movement stop to do this movement okay and try another one okay maybe it fits you better oh my god i love this light okay going to the gym now and um, uh, see you later <laughs> so guys hitting the gym and having subject quads today I prefer starting quads workout with a good warm-up at the extension machine we need to prepare these beauties for the weight that will come along the way yeah so I am performing with a leg at a time and then with both legs without resting and I'm having two or three sets just like that before starting. So I don't waste time wandering around into the gym. And I prefer to warm up these beauties at the extension machine because it's simple, it's fast and it prepares your quads properly for the workout. So, starting with squats on Smith machine it's a favorite of mine and I know I, for sure it's a favorite of yours also. On this one, if you want to benefit from your quads, you have to have a narrower stand, squat stance. So placing that way I'm going down, focusing on the front side of the leg, not body as usual, yeah and allowing my knees to go forwards. Uh, I'm having, as you can see, a small stop there when I'm down and then I go up just right away. 
make sure you don't block your knees when you go up try to keep a 90 degrees angle <clears throat> And as you can see, I'm not going too deeper because I want to keep the tension in my quads. And if you want to make this one more challenging and if you want to go out from your comfort zone, you have to try this. At the last set, you can stop a few seconds into an isolated position and stay there as much as you can. I assure you that it's gonna burn. Oh my God, it's freaking burning there and you can barely walk after this okay just try it and you'll see because it's worth it worth it Moving on to the next one, we have <laughs> front foot elevated split squat, okay? Here on this one, make sure to pick a way that allows you to focus on your legs, I mean on your quads, not on your upper body. Uh, if you have a way too big weight, your hands will give up more sooner than you think, so pick the weight that uh, works and helps you to perform all the sets in the right way uh, here make sure that you're looking forward and allows to your front knee to go forward keep the core and uh, your back nice and tight and Again, if you want to make this one more challenging, after using the weights, you can perform without raise, resting, without weights, until failure. Okay, it's more challenging and you will see that you get the tension just in a second. Okay, keep the tension there and you will see that it works amazing. Okay, moving on, we, ha we need a box as you can see. <laughs> and, uh, we're gonna have box step ups. This is a special one. Uh, I can say that uh, it's a tricky one but uh, I'm gonna explain how it works for me uh, in the in a better way so stepping up to the box as you can see you have to place your foot your heel out of the box okay and stepping out on the box with the front side of your foot okay in this way you are working you are hitting your quads more and for more stability i'm using a stick and uh, this one it it helps me a lot a lot you can hold on on something or you can use a stick also as you can see back and core nice and tight I'm looking forward I'm stepping on the front side of my foot and you can allow your knee to go forward 
You can perform this one on so many ways. Uh, with tempo, with time under tension, we, you, we have a lot of ways to perform this. And you have to be patient because it's a tricky one. Make sure that you're gonna find the best place and the best way to perform just for you, okay? Move on to the next one. We have, of course, hip thrust, okay? We don't miss this never again in our lives in our workouts we have or we have hip thrust or glute bridge or everything about bridging okay i'm gonna use a dumbbell a sweet dumbbell <laughs> okay and remembering that placing the legs far way too far we're gonna be working our hammies having our legs into a 90 degrees angle it's gonna be working our glutes and having our legs closer to us is gonna be working our quads okay We already know that this exercise is a game changer for our body and uh, yeah, I'm a huge fan of, of this. No more workout without a glute bridge or a hip thrust. Uh, we're looking forward, okay? Only our hips is moving there. I'm using uh, elastic bands but I didn't have them with me here. so. Uh, but it's okay so you have to try this okay it's a freaking good exercise okay the next one we have goblet squats okay placing the foot hips width apart, grabbing the weight, we are placing the weight in front of our chest, leaning, you can lean the weight to your chest, okay, uh, your upper body uh, has to be straight, looking forward, okay, and you can use two plates also because it will help you for more knee extension helps on your lack of mobility also and it keeps you more upright which is the main idea while we performing goblet squats okay and if you want the challenging way on this one you can performing now without any weight until failure okay i have chosen uh, today to not going too deep on the squats but as you can see i'm uh, going down parallel with the ground and i'm staying there for one or two seconds it works more efficient for me uh, in this way okay okay back home again guys so hope that you will 
use all the information from this video and if you're a fan on training glutes you will find in the description below a link where I performed uh, an entire workout of four glutes on the Smith machine okay thank you for watching subscribe to my channel uh, hit the notification button and give a thumbs up and tell me in a comment if you already uh, tried one of these exercises and how it works for you and uh, you know what till next time bye bye